Hello fellow sailors, here we are at the Edinburgh Cup. Uh, it's actually day three, but uh, we missed the day yesterday because we were on the water for about uh, eight hours and, and no sailing. Um, I've got with me today two Corinthian sailors, Oliver Morgan from Cowes and Mike Budd from Abbasoc. Um, I've got these two chaps in today because they've done very well in the race. We only got one race in today, unfortunately. We, uh, we would have got two, but um, the Navy decided to send out a nuclear sub today, um, and so we had to abandon the race that was going on at that time, which actually was a bit uh, annoying, especially for me, but there we are. Um, but these things happen. Um, I'll start with you first, Ollie. Uh, you've had the Dragon now for how long? It's been about 14 months. 14 okay. months. Yeah, it was a boat you advised to buy. Yes. It, it, boat you know. It, uh, it came from uh, Olaf Sorensen in Ireland, um, and it was built in about 2000. And Nine. Yeah, he said ten, but he lied to you, but he, he does that a lot. Um, tell me, uh, what made you come into the Dragon class? I think about 30 years ago, my wife was given a picture by Hugh Casson, which was from at Needs or Cottages on the Solent. And the picture is titled, Dragons Are Coming. And for the last 30 years, she's wanted a dragon. So we finally made it. Okay, okay. And Mike, um... Now, you're um, no spring chicken to sailing because you've already got how many national titles? Uh, or in the past? I think yes. Uh, eight, eight, I think. Eight? Yeah, eight, I think. So yeah. uh, that's been in squibs? Uh, six different classes, yeah. Three dinghy classes. Three dinghy classes and, and three, four, maybe four. Keelboats. Um, Keelboats, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. did you. Um, so, why is it taking you so long to come into Dragons? <laughs> but, uh, to be honest, I, I, my, had, my dad had one in Torquay when I was 15, so I, I sailed a couple of times with dad. It's a romantic thing. And then the Abbasot Dragons took off. Yes. So it was a no-brainer. And I bought the boat up here, as you know. Yes, yes. Well, I must just say, that the Abbasot fleet um, had this lovely idea about putting a cap on the amount they could spend on the boat. And within about six months, you had 12 boats there. Didn't you? Yeah, 15. Yeah. 15 yeah, boats. Yeah. And um, so how are you finding it? I mean, you're used to winning. I <laughs> yeah, mean, you're, you're doing very well. It's a learning curve. Yeah, yeah. yeah we're, we feel like we get a bit better each time we get out. So, so you, yeah, so you, it's good. You've got two boats now. Yeah, what's well, a second boat to come and do some events. Not particularly, because the boat you sold me was quite a good boat. Yeah. Probably good enough to do this. But it's nice to have a boat that's wrapped up in the dryer ready to go. Sure, sure. And uh, Ollie, um, your wife sails with you uh, sometimes. She does, yep. She's and a great sailor. Who have you got here this week with you? We've got Alex Dobson and uh, I've got a, 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 a Australian friend of mine, Dave Elliott. Okay. Uh, Dave used to sail on Jaboa with uh, Gavia. Okay. Um, but we have a... Um, we have a lot of laughs up the up the windward leg, as you know. Yeah, is he the loud one? Is he the? He's, yeah, he's the loud the... one, absolutely. And uh, it's rhyming couplets is the biggest problem at the moment. Not getting the rig to work, but the rhyming couplets. Okay. And um, Mike, you've got uh, um, a competition for me about a Jethro joke teller, haven't you on board? Yeah, yeah. One of the crews um, <laughs> is nearly as funny as you, Steph. Yeah, <laughs> and your other guy, though, has sailed with you in many classes. Yeah, he sailed. Yeah, probably most of the classes I've sailed. But apart from the squibs, he hates. And what's he called again? Squibs, Mark Greaves. Mark Greaves. Greaves, yeah. Greaves. Okay. So he hates squibs. He hates squibs, but he sailed there. He likes the dragon, does he? He likes the dragon. He loves it. Yeah. And uh, so uh, today's race, you were fourth. We're fourth. Yeah. That's yeah. A, a very good result. I mean, I. Uh, we were lucky enough to win, and, and uh, on the first beat, uh, we both tacked on what we thought was the yeah. A line, didn't we? Yeah. And yeah. Um, the mark was drifting a bit, I was told. Is that what he said to you? That's what he said to me, but you know, if it didn't, wasn't moving much when we were going to it. Was yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he dragged it up win. <clears throat> it was unfortunate. When you see the two boys from a distance, you sort of pick the right one, don't you? Yeah, yeah. The, uh, the right one being the women mark. And you judge it, they lie. But, um, anyway. but they, they had the, um, the correct flag up because it was drifting a bit, so he put the M flag up. Yeah. And he made the sound signals. He put the correct flag up to say he would became the mark. Yes. And he put the M flag up. Yeah. And then he, moving it wasn't correct. I don't yeah. Think. yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, I'm not going to say anything about that because we won the race. But uh, <laughs> no, but the thing was today, we, after having the, um, the first race blown off, how are you doing in that, Ollie? We were yeah. doing good again. We're, yeah. we're getting, we're, we're sharpening up. You are. We're you sharpening are. up. Because uh, you went right over me on the top of we the did. start. We did, yep. We had to bully you I told you, you not to do that. I know. I didn't <laughs> listen to you, though. I thought all fair in uh, Love and War and Yotten. So uh, now we've had three races, and uh, I think we've got an early start tomorrow, boys. We have. Nine o'clock. What, ten o'clock? Ten o'clock. Ten o'clock. All right, ten o'clock. It's a ten o'clock start. We are, um, we're hoping for three races. I don't think the likelihood of that will happen, but... We're certainly going to go for that. Um, we need one to complete, complete the series. Uh, Julia Bailey is still leading overall. Uh, I believe Gavia will be second, and we're probably third now. Yeah. Um, 
but uh, Corinthian wise, you guys must be right up there at the moment now. Have you seen them? Well, we drop an OCS in the next race, so okay. that'll bring us back into it. Yeah. So you're going to be right there. Yeah. And Ollie, what was your uh, uh, sort of target before you came to this event? Single figures. Yeah. Single figures, one finish and single figures. Okay. We're, we're getting there, which, you is, are. You are. which is terrific. You are. And so uh, there's not much wind forecast. Um, we were on the water today for, uh, I think, nine hours plus, And uh, they did try to start a race, um, thought about starting a race inshore. But uh, in the end, they decided not to. So the championship is all on tomorrow. Uh, as I said, um, Pedro with um, Julia Bailey are leading. And Gavi has got Mark Hart on board. Uh, he's a great tactician. So I think down to the wire. And uh, let's just hope for a lovely last day. Thank you very much, gentlemen. Thank you.